Hi everyone, it's Vicki and I thought I might try something new for this video. Um, today I plan on creating a makeup look based on a challenge that I saw on Glow Up, Britain's Next Great Makeup Artist. Um, this was episode two, I believe, in the first challenge. Um, later this week, I plan on giving this second elimination challenge a go. Um, for the first challenge, they had to create looks for a workout. So this look will be something that you can sweat in and it's not a big deal. Um, this is what I typically wear at work every day too because I find that it's warm at my job even though it is a temperature climate controlled space I tend to run hot regardless even in the winter I'm like in tank tops I'm too hot so it's 90 degrees right now outside in North Carolina as you can see I'm inside my car I'm on my lunch break I didn't wear makeup for the first half of my shift so I decided that I would do my makeup on my lunch break and show you guys how I do it. Um, to begin I use Bare Minerals Original Mineral Veil I mean excuse me um, foundation followed by the Mineral Veil. The shade I use is Medium Beige. Um, I got this shade when I used to work outside so I was a tiny bit darker um, because it's a, a mineral powder when you're buffing it into the skin it has a tendency to blend in even if you do end up getting a shade that is a little bit lighter or darker than your natural shade it's not a high coverage foundation it's more about evening out the tone of your skin um, I usually use the little brush that came with it because it's it's pretty solid and then it's like indented and it holds a decent amount of product but whenever I forget that brush I just use this one which is like a flat foundation brush a cheap one that I got off of Amazon um, made by Luxa I believe is the name of it um, I've got the whole series of brushes and they work pretty good they rarely have um, pieces falling out of them and I believe they were like under 20 bucks so pretty impressive set of brushes been using them for like a year now and they do everything I need them to but this one came with the kit and it does perform better than that brush so I'm gonna go ahead and start working on my foundation now and get my face evened out and then we'll move on to eyes. So with this foundation I usually just tap a little bit into the lid and then swirl the brush into it and gently tap the excess off and then just buff it into my skin. So go clockwise and then counterclockwise try to work it down into the pores and make sure that it looks very even so I'm gonna quickly do this all over my face and I'll be right back all right I'm wrapping up with the foundation now so we can move on the eyes and a lot of times I just at the end swipe over with my brush over my whole eyes um, just to get a base down because this is supposed to be fast easy makeup not complicated this is something that I find myself unfortunately doing quite frequently in the car because I'm terrible I'm always procrastinating and running late and stuff so this is my little car kit I keep it in a little bag and it always stays in my car with a liquid lipstick so that it doesn't melt because I've had numerous lipsticks melt in my car all right so now I'm moving to the mineral veil I'm gonna just quickly dust that across my face like this kind of 
just blurs things is mainly what it's for. It gives like a smoother appearance to the surface of your skin, which is a good thing for me. Because unfortunately, I'd have really large pores, especially in this area. And I've tried all kinds of treatments and nothing really helps. Spoke to the dermatologist about it and was basically told there's not much you can do. That it is what it is and that when I wear full coverage makeup, I just use the base with the um, silicone in it. Kind of fill them in so I have a smoother appearance. All right, so for eyes, well, we got two to work with here. Um, in my makeup kit, I got just a little tiny eyeshadow, if I can even find it. Oh, this one. But today, I brought my bigger kit. Unfortunately, this has fallen on the floor a couple of times and has busted as a result. <coughs> Excuse me. So, we're going to do a base of, I believe it's Clean, which is the palest shade in the compact. I'm having to do it by the phone screen because I don't have a mirror. So this is going to be interesting. Usually I can look up in my mirror to do it, but not with you guys watching. Okay. See, like, I don't get all fussy and specific with it. At least not the base. Alright. So now, move on to the shade here, Natural. And this is what I'll put on the eyelid and blend it into the rest of it. Okay. So I'm going to pause and look in the mirror because without my glasses, I'm pretty much blind. And I'll finish up my eyes. One moment. Okay, I just took the same brush I was using but didn't reload it and just swiped it to gently diffuse the two shades into each other. So now there's a little shade on my eyes, but not much because I want this to look as natural as possible. So we're done with that part, unless we want to go in and contour. And in that case, you can still use these shades down here for contouring, but I'm not going to get into all that because my lunch is almost over. <laughs> all right. So Next, we'll do mascara. Classic, Too Faced, Better Than Sex. And if you're working out, you'll definitely want to have a waterproof mascara because of sweat. So that's why I got the one in the blue because it's waterproof. Sorry, I'm gonna look up in the window real, I mean the mirror real quick to see what I'm doing. notorious for hitting myself in the eye when I try to put on mascara. Alright, so it looks like I got a little bit of cleanup to do there, but not much. So that's pretty good. And my last step, lipstick. So this one is NYX Lip Tees. Let's see the shade. Let's get physical. It's a nice uh, pinky nude. Nothing like crazy. This is like an everyday look. Pretty much can go with anything. And that's why it's in my car kit. I have an extensive collection of makeup at home for whenever I want a more colorful look. I'm gonna touch up my lips and then I'll bring you in for a close up. Okay, I finished my lips. 
and I wiped off the little bit of mascara that's splotched here and there so this is the final look and just in time only got five minutes before I need to return back to work so there's my 10 minutes or less look using minimal makeup but still gives you a finished and pulled together look it's very natural it's good out in high humidity situations such as a workout so let me know what you think um, what other products would you recommend to help with situations where you might be sweating but still want to look you know pulled together and snatched and nice so comment down below with your suggestions and I look forward to seeing you in future videos and my plan is to make some more of these glow up looks and hopefully get more into some of the interesting cool like special effects and all that so we'll see how this goes see you later bye